Hi boys and girls, you ready for your literacy lesson today? This week we are going to be learning how to use describing words. We're going to be describing materials. So that's what things are made out of. So we'll be thinking about how things feel or how they look. Okay, right. I bet some of you have got books like this at home. Maybe when you were a bit younger you had these or maybe you've got some younger brothers or sisters that have them or maybe you still enjoy reading them now. So this one is That's Not My Train and we've got That's Not My Dinosaur. We've got That's Not My Lion and That's Not My Dragon. I'm going to start by reading this one today. Now the great thing about these books is they have lots and lots of good describing words in them. They describe the materials on each page. Should we have a look? So here we go. This one starts by saying, that's not my lion. Its nose is too fuzzy. That's a great word, isn't it? Fuzzy. And we can see there, you might even be able to hear when I do this. That's a fuzzy nose. Hmm, can we think of any other words to describe it as well as fuzzy? Obviously, we've got its colour. I don't know whether you can see, but it's a brown nose. So it's fuzzy. It's brown. It's not shiny, is it? Can you see it shining? The book's shiny, but the nose isn't. So the opposite of shiny is dull. That's what we say. So it's got a, it's got a dull nose and it's fuzzy and it's brown. So three describing words there. Should we carry on? Let's have a look about this lion. Hmm, that's not my lion. Its ears are too soft. You see, they do feel soft. They're not hard ears, they're very soft. Hmm, can you think of another word to describe them? If you look closely, they're very, very fluffy. They're fluffy ears, or you might even say furry. There's three good describing words, soft, fluffy and furry to describe how those ears feel. Now, that's not my lion. Its paws are too rough. They're not smooth. That's the opposite of rough. These ones are very rough and that helps the lion to grip, doesn't it? Do you remember the polar bear had rough paws as well? And if you listen, when I run my finger across it, it makes a noise, doesn't it? Like a scratchy noise. We could say they're scratchy too. That's another good describing word. Rough, scratchy paws. Let's see the next page. Oh, that's not my lion. Its tail is too fluffy. It's like his ears, isn't it? When we said they were furry or fluffy, soft. Smooth. It's not rough. It's nice and smooth. Okay. That's not my lion. Its teeth are too shiny. I don't know if you can spot those there. Maybe if I shine the light on them a little bit. It's got very shiny teeth. What else could we say about his teeth? We could say they are sharp, shiny, they're very white, aren't they? Do you know what we say when people have got very white teeth? We say their teeth are sparkly, sparkly white. Okay, so there's some really good describing words again. Let's look at the next page. Oh, that's my lion. Its mane is so shaggy. That's a great word, isn't it? Shaggy. Shaggy means when something is very hairy, might be thick and long. Hairy, there's a good word, isn't it? So it's got a long, thick, shaggy mane. Lots of good describing words there. Okay, so that was That's Not My Lion. Now let's have a look at this one. That's Not My Dragon. Let's see if we can see any other good describing words. That's Not My Dragon. Its ears are too tufty. That's a good word, isn't it? Tufty. Tufty means when things are sticking out a little bit in tufts. And these are just poking out a little bit here. Tufty and a little bit fluffy too, aren't they? Let's see, what's this one? That's not my dragon. Its spots are too slimy. Ooh, when you feel them, they do feel a bit slimy. 
They're very smooth. They're a little bit silky feeling. Nice and silky. Mm. Okay, let's turn over and see what's next. That's not my dragon. Its claws are too knobbly. I like that word, knobbly. That means a little bit bumpy. There's another good word, bumpy. Knobbly, bumpy, definitely not smooth. These are rough. Great words. That's not my dragon. Its tail is too prickly. We've not heard that word yet, have we? Prickly. And if I feel it, oh, it's a bit spiky too. Prickly, spiky, rough, maybe a bit scratchy. Wow, we're finding lots of good describing words today, aren't we? You'll have to remember some of these words and they'll help you later in the week. That's not my dragon. Its tongue is too fuzzy. Oh, look at that fuzzy tongue. We had the word fuzzy, didn't we, for the lion's nose? It's the same sort of feel. And then finally, that's my dragon. Its wings are so scaly. Can you see the scales on here? And again, they're a little bit bumpy. Okay, not smooth. They're scaly. Can you see? They look like scales. Wow, look at all those words we've just heard. So many. Now, you might have some books like this at home, some of your own. It'd be great if you could have a little read of them today. See how many describing words you could collect. Right, you've got a job now. So, I have given you some pages. If you click on add, the add button, it will bring up some pages. Now on the first page I've said, that's not my teddy. And there's a picture of a teddy. And underneath it says, it's two. But then I've left it blank. I want you to come up with a really good describing word for that teddy and say it out loud. Maybe you could even think of more than one word. And then on the next page, it says, that's my teddy. But then there's no picture there. So what you could do is go and find one of your teddies, take a photograph of it and add it to the page. It's dead easy. You just click on the camera button and you can add your picture. Um, and then you've got to say why that's your teddy. You've got to think of another good describing word for your teddy. And then you do the same on the next page where it says, it shows you a bag and it'll say, that's not my bag. It's two, and you come up with a describing word. And on the next page, you can find your own bag around the house, take a photograph of it, and think of a really good describing word for your bag. And then finally, it's the same, but with a pair of shoes, or it's a shoe. So you've got three objects there that you need to describe, and then you find three of the same objects that you have in your house and see if you can describe those. Your grown-ups will help you with that, I'm sure. Okay, right. Don't forget all those really wonderful describing words we've heard today. And I can't wait to see if you come up with some good describing words of your own. Right, have a fun day, boys and girls. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>